close your eyes and focus on your breath. Try to be really alert to what you're doing right now. Just the breath coming in, going out, and if the mind wanders off anyplace else, just drop whatever the thought is and come right back. You've got to keep watch over things like this, because otherwise you go just sliding along your old ways. The word they use in, in the Pali Canon is sara, is to flow along after something. And we tend to flow along after our old habits, our bad habits, and like water we tend to go down. So we have to lift ourselves up here as we're meditating. So the lifting up is your alertness, when you can see, okay, this is going in a direction that's not leading to any real happiness. Okay, Then you pull yourself up, keep pulling yourself up. And, and Thai often when they say that you're focusing on your meditation, you're lifting your mind to the topic. So raise your mind up above its ordinary ways so you can actually see them for what they are. Because when you're in them, you don't see them at all. It's like being in a cave. You're dark and you don't know where the cave is going. But if you're up above and you can see, okay, the cave comes out over there, this cave goes out over here, you can see, is this a cave I want to go to or not? Go into or not? Because when you come out, you, it's hard to get back. If you end up someplace, the cave takes you to someplace you don't really want to go, then you're in, hard, in a bad shape. So you want to lift yourself up so you're walking on the, on the ground at the very least. And if better than that, lift yourself up on a mountain. Because up on the mountain you can look around, you can see where you've been coming from, which things you did in the past led you to the top of the mountain, which things were leading away, and where you're going to go from here. That you can see clearly as well. So try to lift your mind up like this, because otherwise it's not only in darkness, but as the Buddha said, we tend to be intoxicated. We're intoxicated with our youth. We're intoxicated with our health. We're intoxicated with our life. In other words, we say, I'm still young, and I'm still strong and healthy, and I'm still alive, so I can pretty much do what I want. I don't have to worry about death anytime soon. don't have to prepare for it. The Buddha said that's being intoxicated, it's being drunk. So when you're alert, you can look at things clearly and say, okay, how much more time do I have? I don't really know, but I do know that I have this time right here, right now. So whatever form of goodness you want to develop in your life, whether it's in terms of generosity or virtue or meditation, you want to do it now, because you're not sure about the next moment or the next, to say nothing of the next year and the next days or whatever. So right now you've got a chance to do something good, so you take advantage of that. That's when the Buddha says you're not, you're not intoxicated and you're not heedless. So try to lift the mind up here so you can look around and see what's going on. And you find yourself in a bad habit, okay, lift yourself out of the habit. It's, it is possible. And this is what the meditation is for. It gives you a better place to put your mind, a higher place, a more clear-seeing place, a place where you can see far. <laughs>